Hi guys and welcome to another video video. We are working with natural daylight and the sun is setting and there's a really cool cloud. Wow. So today is Friday the 13th. It's the unluckiest day of the year and today has been pretty unlucky in my books. So we are treating ourselves to a extreme scream park experience tonight. What better day than Friday the 13th? to go to a fake murderous place where you could potentially actually get really murdered and no one would know because people would think you're part of the act. Worst fear, but let's see how it goes. <laughs> yeah, so I thought I would just do a quick chit chat, get ready with me because I'm literally heading out in about half an hour. So this video will go up after the experience, hopefully, probably be about midnight but it will go up. I am going to try vlog as much as possible at this scream experience thing, but I don't think you're allowed to film inside the mazes without permission. So, but I will film the outdoor experiences and probably just chit chat while I'm there with my friends and my channel could probably meet my friends if they want to be on my vlog. I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, stay tuned if you want to watch me get all gothified. Is that a, that's not a word and become the one and only Wednesday Adams. So I am very ill and I have a very bad cold and I got it today on Friday the 13th so yeah. So I keep doing this I don't know why. <laughs> so I just went with the white collar and I've got a long black jumper dress thing and I've got some boots and some dark tights on. Everything's peachy it's not but okay sorry if I'm a bit sniffly as well I know it really annoys people so I'm really sorry I'll try edit my sniffs out <laughs> let's pale up I mean I'm quite pale already but my skin is so sensitive so it's all blotchy from my work day so let's clean my face and pale up so I use the fit me is that what it's called yeah and I've got the matte poreless normal to oily skin this is 110 porcelain because i'm made of porcelain so if you've never been to one of these experience walk through mazy haunted maze things i sound like a robot because i'm telling myself <laughs> then um you're in for a treat you should definitely go if you're a thrill seeker because where's my lighting gone sorry i went really white then as a ghost we are using natural light. But the first one I ever went to was this one last year. And this one is hosted at Twin Lakes. Is it in Melton Mowbray or near Melton Mowbray? So if you are thinking of going, it's running till the end of October, Halloween. But, and I think it's every Friday, Saturday. I don't know about Sundays. But anyway, yeah, I went last year and it was terrifying and amazing. Amazing, it's all mazes. <laughs> uh, but they're not actually mazes, but they are, because sometimes you can't see where you're going, but they're like, they're all themed buildings and I can't explain it. I'm not a good storyteller. This is why I don't do chit chat things on my channel. Because one, the people I live with probably think I'm crazy and talking to myself, but I'm actually talking to you guys, but I am talking to myself at the moment. But when you're seeing this, I'm talking, talk mm. I'm just, I, I think I've had too many flu tablets. I'm getting a bit delusional. <laughs> but yeah, don't even know what I was saying. Yes, you should go. If you're worried about these things, don't be worried. It is safe. I, ha I have a few friends actually who are working at it this year. So hopefully I can spot them in their costumes. Do not match my neck, but it's going to be dark soon, so... I mean, yeah, there's going to be like the living dead people there, so I'm sure I won't be the worst looking person. Anyway, so I'm just going to conceal my under eyes and spots that I think are stress related. <laughs> I'm using this little thing, Rimmel Lasting Finish. Cleaning your brushes as you go, like an artist. 
like a painter. Uh, how's your Friday the 13th going? Are you unlucky? Oh, well, it's probably the 14th by the time you're watching this, but was your day unlucky? I'd love to hear some stories. If you've got any, comment below if you want to. Always read my comments because I only get like one a video. <laughs> so how can you not? <laughs> oh, am I, am I coming across as pathetic? I hope not. <laughs> it's not. It's not what I'm going for. I'm going to put this under my eyes because it's the eraser eye. The eraser eye. Is that really what it's called? It's called anti-age as well. Yes, please. Oh, look at this. She's clicking it. <laughs> I've probably lost use too much now. There we go. We do our little triangles. I think this is probably too orange for me, which always seems to be the case with everything. Can you even see it? I'm gonna. Honestly, what did we do before beauty blenders? Like, can anyone tell me what did you use before beauty blenders? I honestly think it was either my hands or those little white sponges. I'm just so thankful we live in a time where there's beauty blenders. I have never had a system or a routine when putting on makeup. I just, when I see that product, put it on. So I'm going to contour next. Oh that's a lot isn't it? That's Look how wonky my eyebrows naturally are like that's my face and this one's so much higher than this one. I don't know where my actual eyebrow pencil is and it's really annoying me. I've got this one that I brought for Halloween stuff. It's black though so my eyebrows are going to look dark. But it's Wednesday Adams anyway, so I guess it works. But it's from Collection. Is it just Collection? I don't know, it was like three quid. Like that, like that. So it kind of looks a bit more pointed like this one actually is. Although I did draw them on a bit this morning. So they are already a bit more filler. Filler? They are a bit more filled. Do they look even? Can't tell. They'll be fine. I don't. I don't care. Okay, we have lost a lot of daylight, so I'm really sorry. This is getting darker and darker as the video progresses, and it's going to look really grainy. Right, eyes. I didn't want to do eyeshadow really, but we'll do a bit. I really like sleek. I've talked about them a lot before, but yeah, these are some nice colours. But the fallout is ridiculous. I mean, it's probably because of the way I apply it and the brushes I'm using. There was a lot of birds that just flew by, so it freaked me out. <laughs> but yeah. Well, I think I'm just gonna put some purple in that one. That'll do. I usually just do the corner of my eye because it looks pretty there. And then if I feel like it, I also use this eyeshadow on the tip of my nose because it's better than any other highlighter I've got. Oh, got the Tin Man nose sometimes here as well. Oh I forgot to film but I literally just drew a very thin like little wing and stuff. And now I'm gonna use the Their Real Benefit mascara just to give my eyes a bit more of a pop. I'm not going to put... Oh, literally the first swipe and I get it on the lid. <sighs> I'm not going to put falses on tonight because honestly, I haven't got the time. <laughs> I take about 15 to 20 minutes to put false eyelashes on because my eyes are just such odd shapes. Like... You probably didn't notice, but now you're going to notice and I've said it. But one is circular and one is more of a, like, rugby ball shape. So no eyelashes fit them. So 
I have to like trim the false eyelashes into like three quarters and then place them on. <laughs> so the last thing to do is lips. I was going to wear this lovely purple Maybelline Matte Ink in Escapist which is quite fitting because I want to escape all these mazes but it takes ages to dry and it doesn't actually go matte on me I don't know if it's a bad formula of it or it's just the product or it's just the way I'm applying it I don't know and I wanted a matte lip so I don't know what I'm gonna do but might outline my lips with this black thing that I've used for everything and then put my dark red on for the ombre lip effect and there we go that is my Wednesday Adams inspired makeup could be a lot better but you know I had half an hour well, those videos probably gonna be half an hour but yeah I hope you all have a lovely evening <laughs> it's probably like 11 o'clock at night hope you all had a lovely evening with me and i will see you tomorrow for my next video which will be the vlog of tonight's scream fest so look forward to that i'll probably be crying in most of it or running after horrible people that scare me <laughs> so yeah enjoy that and i will see you tomorrow until then stay spooky